Hey guys, Juan here, and in today's tech video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about this monitor right here. This is the 28 inch UHD QLED monitor for a computer. So, uh, we're going to unbox it, and I'm going to show you the step by step process and how to get this thing hooked up and uh, ready to go. I think you won't be disappointed if you are in the market to buy this thing. I love it. I've had it for a little while now, but I want to show you guys how to get it installed. So, let's go ahead and Cue the intro and dive into today's video. Before we dive into this video, if you will, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you can get notified whenever I release a new video. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So if you're watching this video, I assume that you're in the market to possibly buy this monitor or maybe you already bought it and you're wanting to know how to get it hooked up. So let's uh, go ahead and unbox it, get it open, see what's inside the box first, and then we'll take it down to my office and get it all set up. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here's one of the legs. What I like about this one is, because when I was looking for monitors, they had some that were like kind of flat. I like this kind of look here. It looks kind of futuristic, so I like the visual appeal of this, especially because this is going to be the monitor that I'm probably going to end up using for a few years. So I want to be able to look at it and like what I'm looking at. Okay, so once you get it up out of the box, this is all the components to it. So really, there's not a whole lot to it. You've got the base. This is the arm that'll get connected there. Power cable. This is the back plate, so that way you can put it on there and cover up some of the uh, back end there. But on the back side of this thing, there are two HDMI hookups. There's a mini display port right there, a spot where you hook up your headphones, and then there's where you hook in the power cable. So that's the outlets on the back. Um, something that's a little different with this one is they are like inside and indented in there versus just being on the back side here like that. So on the back side also you do have four different screw holes in case you want to hook up one of those Visa, Versa, whatever they call that mount. Uh, so maybe you can put it like on a wall or if you want to hook it up to an arm and then hook it onto the screen like that. So that's the components. Let's go ahead and get it hooked up because I'm going to be mounting it on that bracket there. I'm not going to be mounting it on the wall. So let's get it hooked up and see what it looks like. Okay, so I got the monitor all set up here. Now, one of the reasons I did go with this monitor is because I was running a, a 27 inch iMac and it broke on me. I had the black screen of death. So now I have to take my MacBook Pro and hook it up to a monitor and just kind of travel back and forth to work and back using a MacBook Pro and then going with a desk setup by hooking it up to an external monitor. So that's why the main reason I got this monitor. I don't really want to do that. I like having the convenience of having a computer just sit down and, and play um, or start working on an iMac, but this is what I got to do for a little while, but that's why I got this monitor here. But so I got it all hooked up. Let's, I'm going to put a tape measure on it so that way you guys can see the exact dimensions, uh, see if it works for your setup on your desk and see how much room it's going to take for you. Okay, so let's take a tape measure to this thing. Now, it's uh, advertised as a 28 inch, but I always like to see the exact dimensions because you never know if they have a little bit of forgiveness there on their measurement. Okay, so whenever you go corner to corner with the outside bezel, you're looking at 29 and a half inches. The actual screen real estate is going to be 27 and 7 eighths, so about an eighth of an inch short of the actual 28 dimensions, but that's still quite a bit. Um, it's going to be more than what I was getting on my 27 inch iMac. So if you go side to side on this thing, you're looking at 24 
and a half inches of actual screen. And then the bezel will be 25 and 5 eighths on the actual end to end with the bezel. The actual bezel looks like a measure 5 eighths inch on the bezel there. So it's not the most thin that I've seen, but it's not bad either. So a lot of these newer monitors and TVs that you're getting, they're almost like edge to edge display. So uh, that's what this one is, it's a Samsung. Now if on the feet, let's go ahead and measure the feet so that way you know what that measurement is. And we're looking at 18 and a half inches on the feet. So let's go from the back end to the feet, about 10 and a quarter inches from the very back there to where the front of the feet are. So 10 and a quarter inches there. So that's your measurements on this. So it kind of gives you an idea of if you do put this on your desk, how much room it's gonna take. So it's not too bad. I mean, it's got a kind of a smaller footprint, but uh, you're mainly wanting that big screen. That's what you're buying this monitor for. It's a 28 inch screen. All right, so this is the UH750 is what this monitor is here. It's got the display pixels of like 3,840 by 2,160. The UHD model, uh, the one megahertz response time. The AMD is a free sync mode. So this is the Samsung free sync mode and it's got that picture in picture display, but that's a nice looking monitor from this point of view. Let's go ahead and get it set up downstairs in my office. Okay, got it on my desk here. One measurement that I forgot to get for you guys that I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of is the actual height. So from desk all the way to the top, about 18 and almost three quarters. So 16th below is the actual height. Okay, so I got my HDMI hooked up here and then I've got the power cable hooked up right here. Now, one thing to mention that a lot of people don't mention it. I don't even know that it mentions it on the box or anything, but like you want to make sure that you're hooking it up into HDMI 2. The reason being is that way you can get that full 4K ultra high definition content on this QLED display. For some reason, if you hook it up into the HDMI 1, it does not give it that 4K capability it's got to be hooked up into the HDMI 2 you would think that they would hook it up to the HDMI 1 uh, to have that type of capability but in this case make sure you're hooking it up to HDMI 2 to get that full 4k capability okay so now let's put on the back plate I like that I got a notch cut out so that way I can hide my wires one thing I am a big fan of is good cable management there we go popped in there pop in the top and the side. All right, so now it, it's right there. I'm gonna have to try to run that wire along the side here to, to completely hide it. Maybe get gaffer tape and tape it there. Now, since I am hooking this up to a MacBook Pro, I had to get one of these adapters here that hooks into a USB-C. So I'm not sure what kind of computer you would be hooking this up to, but that's the setup I had to do. And then I run my HDMI cable into that end right there. Oh yeah, MacBook Pros, you gotta live that dongle life. Okay, so since that last clip has transpired, I've got the monitor all hooked up, hooked up to the MacBook, ready to display the image on there and enjoy this awesome ultra high definition QLED 4K content. And this is what happens. So I bought this monitor as a refurbished item on Amazon and it was one that was returned. I'm thinking I know why it was returned. I don't think it works. I've got it hooked up into HDMI 1 right now. I, I hooked it up into HDMI 2 first and it didn't work. Hooked up to HDMI 1, it's not working. It's giving me this blank screen here. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um, the other option is trying to hook it up to a mini display port, which I don't really have that cable here. Um, and you know what, I don't know that I wanna go order one because I think this monitor is defective. So whenever you do buy product that are used, sometimes you take that chance of it not working sometimes. I, I mean, I haven't always had that problem with Amazon. I've usually had pretty good luck, but this is the second time that I've actually bought an item that was used and it didn't work, it was defective, or I had to return it again, so. Okay, so now we got it. It's all hooked up. I figured out the problem. Um, the problem was there was a bad HDMI cable, so I went uh, to the store, bought a new HDMI cable. I swapped out the old cable, put in the new one, and now we do have a picture, so. Um, I started with the easiest thing first before I made any kind of hard decisions of sending this monitor back. And I went with uh, a cheap HDMI cable and kind of just went through the processes and luckily it was that that fixed it. So 
If you ever have issues with any of your um, electronics, check the HDMI cable. Sometimes they go bad. But this is it. It's all set up. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Okay, so once I got it plugged into the MacBook Pro, I went to displays and it did automatically recognize it right there with the U20H H75X. So it automatically recognized what type it was. I just had to scale out the different, um, like, you know, zoom so that way it was at the proper font and size that I wanted at. I just went right here in the middle because over here this was too small small and this is where it went to when i first hooked it up i had to kind of adjust the size on it the dashboard is now the correct sizing and it looks pretty good even the top menu bar is about the same size that i like it to be so whenever you do hook this up if you hook it up to a macbook pro you'll have to adjust the scaling on it all right so there it is the 28 inch samsung ultra high definition monitor qled display I think it's going to be a good fit for my office here. I think I'm going to be able, able to edit some really good videos on this thing. It's got a lot of screen real estate from edge to edge. I think it's a nice looking monitor. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys, of this unboxing and setup of this great monitor here. I'm probably going to do another video on it after owning it for a little bit of time, maybe a one month later review to tell you guys uh, what it's been like to own this thing for a little bit of time now because I think it takes usually about a good month of using this thing on an everyday basis to really get a feel of it, to give a good honest review. So be looking for that video and uh, hopefully this one helped you out in deciding if this is the one that you wanna get. If it did, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Until then, be creative.